So how do you find the vehicle identification number or VIN for a vehicle? This is Dave at Car Titles. Since 1981, all vehicles were required to have a standardized 17-digit VIN number printed in many places, but at least on the cowl inside the windshield of the vehicle. That allows for law enforcement to see the VIN number from outside the car. Prior to that, however, there were many places where a VIN number could be issued in many formats. It didn't have to be 17 digits. It could have any type of numbers and letters in combination. If you can't find it on the firewall or the cowl of the vehicle, check a few other places. Sometimes it's printed on the chassis. It's stamped into the metal. In some cases, it might be in the door jam. If you open the driver's door, it may be in the door jam. If it's a trailer, you may find it on the tongue of the trailer, usually on the driver's side of the tongue on the left-hand side. In many cases on older classic cars, it's actually on the engine of the vehicle. Some cars have it in multiple duplicate locations. If that's the case, make sure they all match up before you use the VIN number to get a title because you may get a title with the wrong VIN number if you use the wrong one. Just prior to 1980, many cars had VIN numbers stamped on the firewall, not on the cowl, but on the firewall. If you look at that VIN number, make sure that it's not painted over or you don't paint it over too much so it'll be readable later. VIN numbers are very important to identify the vehicle, so make sure you get the right number and it's consistent in all your paperwork.